Nigeria's President Mohamed Buhari has asked the Senate to amend the Petroleum Industry Act due to an imbalance in the geopolitical representation of non-executive board members, among other issues. The President's request was contained in a letter read by the Senate President Ahmed Lawan during a plenary on Tuesday. President Buhari explained that his proposal became necessary, carefully reviewing the Nigerian midstream and downstream petroleum regulatory authorities' administrative structure and the Nigerian Upstream Regulatory Commission. He asked the lawmakers to correct the oversight in the interest of national unity. Still at the National Assembly, federal lawmakers in Nigeria have condemned the country's contributory pension scheme for serving police personnel when compared to other security agencies. They say the scheme is discriminatory as police personnel are shortchanged when they retire from the service. The lawmakers' reaction followed a peaceful protest at the parliament by retired police personnel who called this scheme a scam and an assault on the years of service to the country. In other crimes where there's a contributory pension scheme, like in Chile, for example, the police force, just like other military forces, are, part, are not part of the contributory uh, pension scheme. I want to plead, honorable colleagues, that you support this exception because the duties performed by the police, especially at this time of security challenges in our country, are enormous. That's one woman that even said she has dependent her old mother, her old father, they're still alive, but they're not even valuing her because you say, why do you go to the police? Why do you serve this country? 35 years, you cannot even help us to eat food after your service. The reason why is contributing to pension scheme. The deputy superintendent of police will be getting 1.5 million naira as pension, and the, his counterpart in army, like a captain, will be getting 12.8 million naira in the same country. It's unacceptable. A pension that is higher in quantum to the police then mutatis mutandis. Those privileges that is enjoyed by the military that is charged with the responsibility of defending our own territorial integrity should be enjoyed by the police.